Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. All right, good evening, everybody. In tonight's Climate Classroom, I want to talk about the difference between steering of summer hurricanes and fall hurricanes. There is a big difference and big implications because in August, we've only seen about two direct hits from the Gulf of Mexico, meaning storms that develop somewhere in the Caribbean or in the Atlantic and eventually end up coming through the Gulf of Mexico and hitting the west coast of Florida outlined in red. However, that number jumps to 10 in October. So let's talk about that. First, I'm going to show you all August hurricanes since 1950 within 300 miles of Tampa and watch how almost all of them come from the southeast and continue moving in that general direction, either kind of moving right up the coast or moving across. But you don't see them making turns for the most part with the exception of one or two. One notable one, Hurricane Charlie actually, but otherwise it is fairly rare. That's because the turn zone during the summertime, during August, is way up here towards Atlanta and towards uh, Charleston, South Carolina. However, things change in October. Same thing, watch the storm tracks. This time, what you're going to notice is a lot of them take turns and move in this direction, from the Caribbean through the Gulf, and then eventually into the west coast of Florida. So, this is because of a pattern change that happens, and the turn zone is obviously much further south, right here across the state of Florida. And the whole shift is about 500 miles. It goes from the southeast, makes its way all the way down into the Tampa Bay area and across the state of Florida. So why is that the case? First, let's talk about August. During August, we have a strong Bermuda high. We have these tropical easterly winds pushing hurricanes generally in this direction to the west, and they don't make that turn. However, as the seasons begin to change and cool air begins to dive down from Canada, it pushes the jet stream in the mid-latitude westerlies to the south, and that makes it more likely that systems that come up from the Caribbean do make the turn and head towards the west coast of Florida. The bottom line is, we're going to see a, an introduction of a fall-like pattern as early as this weekend. You'll see and feel those temperatures drop a couple of degrees, but that is bad timing. We don't know exactly what the details yet are going to be, but this is one we have to watch closely. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com.